Righty oh. So it's that time again. We've been called out to a Mitsubishi wireless power issue. Heating is not working from the thermostat, and this is what the display is showing. So, what will happen is when the controller loses connection to its receiver, which is that one at the bottom there, it will basically revert itself back into compensation curve on this or fixed flow sometimes. Now, if we press the engineer setting there and scroll across to initial settings, if we scroll down to room sensor settings and then down again and press the sensor setting and then sensor setting again. You'll see here it's set to room RC1. Now sometimes this will revert back to main RC or it will even revert back to TH1 if it loses connection to the wireless stat. So we actually want that on room RC1 but we just need to do a simple repair. So. If we come all the way back to the main menu, if we press and hold the power button down, it will say system shutdown, say yes, and that will shut everything off. Now, you've got this one here. If we take the batteries out, just slightly, okay. If we look down here, we've got our wireless receiver we press and hold this button on the side for five seconds it will flash orange and then if we put the battery back in like so maybe not I'm trying to do this one under absolute nightmare Pop that one back in there, like that. It will flash like so. Now, if we press and hold the up and down arrow with the tap symbol, it will give us an option. If we then press the up arrow once and press the tap symbol to confirm, and then press the tap symbol to confirm again, it will say OK because that's now paired room RC1 from here to here. And now it's said OK. You'll get a standing green light on your receiver and on your controller. If we press the suitcase button once more, it will say off. OK. Now if we go back to our controller here and press the power button that will now come back on and you can see the display is a little bit different it can take up to 10 minutes for this to register onto your main controller but once it's done that you should be good to go so now that's paired and it's done its 10 minute cycle we can see now we've got 14 degrees there and if we go back to our controller and we can see we've got 14 degrees here. So as and when we press this one up and down, we'll see that number there change, which means that's now paired and working correctly. But what we haven't got is the actual room temperature. So this is your asking temperature. We need a room temperature. So try and do this one handed again. If we press and hold the up and down arrow with the tap symbol, like so, it will flash slash, 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 zero. If we press the up arrow until it goes to number four and then press the tap symbol. If we then change this number at the top so we actually get a reading just by simply pressing the up arrow. If you press it twice by accident, it will just go back. Just press the up arrow there and press the tap symbol. That's now confirmed that and locked that in. If we then press the suitcase button, it will bring you back to the main menu and now you've got your actual room temperature. So this is where I'm currently stood now. Obviously it's a bit warm because it's in the airing cupboard. And that is your asking temperature.
and that's how you resolve a wireless part issue. Sorry, not the cleanest video. Wasn't expecting this one today. It's a, a bit of a rush and a manic day today. So quality is absolutely shocking. Hopefully it helps you all out there. Cheers.